Hi, my name is Matt Horowitz. I work at University of Oxford. I'm originally from America. I went to university at Columbia University, and then I did a PhD with Jeff Johnson at UNC Chapel Hill. And then I did my first postdoc with Paula Mochiori in ICIQ in Tarragona, Spain. And now I work for Veronique Gouverneur at uh, University of Oxford studying organocatalysis. Um, recently, I started the Synthesis Workshop YouTube channel to talk about advances in synthetic organic chemistry. And here I'm today with Pierre to try and learn how to master my skills a little bit better. Okay, can you see this? Yeah, I can okay. see this. Okay, cool. I was thinking maybe we could start with uh, this molecule uh, in the middle, tafluprost. Okay. Which is a prostaglandin analog. How did you draw this? I did it the super basic way. You know, I went through and I started with just cyclopentane and I realized, oh, that's not drawing, that's not set up the right way to have it drawn the way I want. So mm -hmm. I'll select it and then I'll do command R on a Mac and I'll okay. uh, rotate it 180 degrees. Okay. And and then, uh, you know, I'll put everything in by hand. So I'll put, I'll do one, two, three, four. And then to make these wedges, I'll do an H, yep. an H, W, and an H. And then, you know, I'll continue putting in everything else by hand in that okay. kind of way. So let me, very good. So let's start with that. Let's start with this one. What we currently have, so you said Tafluprost. So yep. first of all, let's see if Tafluprost <coughs> is available. Yeah, it is available as... Oh, God, that would have been easy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the name to structure, obviously. Name to structure, which is... Uh, this guy here. So view, show structure toolbar, and then name to structure, or Control Shift N or Command Shift N on the Mac. Okay. Now, how would you? Um, how could you do this? So the way that I would do this myself is with the hotkeys. Let's say I need to make that a little bigger, just so we have space, right? you'll be able to see what I type on uh, the keyboard. So first of all, uh, first of all, Matt, which version are you using? 19.0, uh, 19.1? Yeah. yeah, exactly, I'm in 19.0. Okay, okay, so there is a, uh, an improvement for 19.1 that actually uh, I'll show you, but in 19 that you currently have, if you mouse over um, the various tools, it will tell you what you need to press on the keyboard to select them. So if you oh, mouse nice. over, if you mouse over nothing with the keyboard and you press X, you take a single bond tool space. It selects a rectangle tool, which in turn selects the um, actual, the last object you interacted with. Uh, so you need to deselect, you need to have nothing selected and then press E, for example, that's the arrow tool. T is the text tool. Okay. Uh, so you can simply mouse over, it will tell you text tool, you press T over the canvas, or you press enter over an atom. Okay, yeah. cool. Uh, and then that. So what I would do is insert one bond, okay? And the principle is really, you can see the, what I'm pressing on my keyboard, just the arrows, yeah. without staying over the molecule, actually. If you stay over the molecule and you press, um, sorry, up, it it won't move. So the okay. hot spot is sort of stuck to where the mouse cursor is. So it's a reflex you will have to fight at the beginning to the, the reflex to stay over the molecule with the mouse. Okay. But you simply touch it, move away, and then you press, um, for example, five, which in that case is not uh, is not doing it in the correct orientation. Okay. So there's. 19.1, there is a rotation shortcut, which is Alt and Arrows. Oh, uh, okay. That's cool. And it will uh, move by either 15 degrees increments or, or 1 degrees increments. From there, what can you do? So before we start, maybe, um, in the samples, in the samples in version 19, you'll have uh, this little guy here. Okay. So that's a cheat sheet for 
the various hotkeys well, right. we're going to, to use. And um, and yeah, file open samples and then magic hotkeys cheat sheet. Or if you are on pre version 19, it's called the enhanced hotkeys cheat sheet. It's a little less elaborate, but okay. it also covers the basics. Um, so we'll do that. One thing, uh, so that's a sort of a shortcut on PC control tab is actually switching from one document to another. Okay. Uh, maybe you can try on your Mac and let me know what, what that is. Uh, it's command, I think. Yeah, command tab. Uh, yeah, I, uh, for it to do which, to do which hotkey? Um, so <clears throat> it's to switch from one do open document to another. Oh, I have no idea how to do that. <laughs> Um, let me see. Um, let me open another document and check. Um, if we look at just this one, yeah, uh, you move around. The hotkey for the um, hashed which bond is sorry, five. Uh, okay. So five will just directly um, sprout the hashed which bond if you are on secondary carbon. If you are on the primary carbon, it will add a hashed wedge bond plus a methyl. Oh, nice. OK. OK. And do. I move here. So sorry, I go here. I press O. OK. And then, you know, I just move my way around the molecule. 5, O. 4 is uh, hashed wedge. 8 is double bond. OK. So you press 1, 1, 1, O, 1, so O or Q actually, but okay. we'll we'll see about that. Okay. Three or A is the phenol. Nine over a secondary carbon is a gem dimethyl. So you press F, uh, and then F, and then you simply move around five. Now, you saw the little green dot. Yep. Here, when you're over atom, the green dot tells you where, uh, in which direction the carbon bond goes if you are, if you're pressing one. Okay. Okay. So if you press one, it goes where the green dot is. If you press zero, it goes away from the green dot. Ah, uh, okay. So, for example, uh, one. Then I go back here. I press two. Go back here. Press one but it goes in the wrong direction so zero mm -hmm. and then that then i press two two is a carbonyl okay and o, <coughs> one then nine is a dimethyl okay um, when you are on a primary carbon so then you press space that selects the entire thing right okay and and that's it so nice. if we if we want to um, do things slightly differently, um, if we start from, you know, let's start from this bond, right? Uh, this bond being this guy. Okay. So if we start from there, we could do uh, the other part of the molecule. Two, oh, one. I could do nine or I could do one and then go back and press one. Okay. I go here, I press two, I go here, I press one. And mm -hmm. as you know, uh, the H is, uh, when you are over a bond, you press H to make it hash wedged. Okay. And then seven is the hotkey for the cyclopentyl. So seven okay. on, an at on an atom will sprout the cyclopentyl. So from there, we can do that. Oops, sorry. Sorry, six gives a cyclo, a cyclohexyl. Okay. Four, one, I go here, I press two, I go he back here, I press that, that secondary carbon, I press nine. I'll <coughs> o or Q. Okay. Is redundant. And then three or a on an atom is actually 
um, the same thing for for the hotkey. Okay. Okay. Nice. So it's very good. From there, um, one other thing that maybe you didn't know is once you have a uh, selection, you can do control arrow. So control arrow right, right oh, down, left. left. Wow. And that will clone whatever you have selected on the other side of an arrow. Okay. Wow, that's really useful. 